a Saturday Night Live shakeup. The show firing one of its new cast members before he even appeared on the broadcast. This comes after past racist remarks surfaced. Chris Conley is tracking the latest from Los Angeles. Good morning to you, Chris. And good morning, Michael. The news coming down on Monday. Comic Shane Gillis out at SNL after just a few days amid a firestorm of criticism. From the Stormy Daniels allegations. Stormy, this is Michael Cohen. Are you alone? Yes. And what are you wearing? <laughs> to the opioid crisis. I want to use heroin, but I also want to get stuff done. Saturday Night Live doesn't steer clear of controversy in its sketches. Recent days, though, have seen SNL dealing with its own controversy. The show declaring in a statement on Monday it is dropping one of its new hires, 31-year-old stand-up comic Shane Gillis. I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. And I didn't vote for Donald Trump. Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. But a video of Gillis from about a year ago surfaced from Matt and Shane's secret podcast, in which he mockingly mimicked a Chinese accent and used a racist slur to refer to Asian people in Chinatown. Reaction was immediate and unfavorable. Gillis issued an initial statement saying, I'm happy to apologize to anyone who's actually offended by anything I said. I am trying to be the best comedian I can be. And sometimes that requires risks. Pablo Estore of ESPN's High Noon tweeting, it was only a risk because you and your hack friend are dumb enough to record it. Enter Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang. In a series of tweets on Saturday, Yang excoriated anti-Asian racism and slurs. But after going through Gillis's work, Yang said, he does not strike me as malignant or evil. I do not think he should lose his job. We would benefit from being more forgiving rather than punitive. The show opted otherwise, announcing his removal on Monday, saying we were not aware of his prior remarks. The language he used is offensive, hurtful, and unacceptable. Gillis issuing a statement saying he respects the decision, but it feels ridiculous for comedians to be making serious public statements, but here we are. I'm a comedian who was funny enough to get SNL. That can't be taken away. Many on social media praise the decision. Former SNL cast member Rob Schneider did not tweeting, I am sorry you had the misfortune of being a cast member during this era of cultural unforgiveness. Many different perspectives. SNL's new hires do include Bo and Yang, who will become the first Chinese-American cast member in the show's soon-to-be 45 seasons on the air. As for presidential candidate Andrew Yang, he tweeted that he hopes to sit down with Gillis soon. Guys, we'll see if that happens. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.